Hi everyone, this is Terry. When you get your software, probably one of the first things you'll do with it is create a design using a design you purchased or possibly one you've imported from the design library, such as this little flower design that's found under Floral 4, and you'll stitch that out. And for some people, that may be all they want to do with the software. Other people will go further, and they'll want to learn to digitize, and they'll want to learn to edit designs. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to identify the differences between text and then stitch files and shapes. If you select text, you can tell it's text because you have the text tab, and you also see text attributes. Now, if you buy something that has text in it from a digitized design, it will be a stitch file. It will not appear in your software as text. It appears in your software as text whenever you use the text tools and create those letters. On shapes, you'll notice that when you select a shape, the shapes tab appears, and those shapes allow you to go into the sewing attributes to make changes to the shapes. With the shapes, you can convert them to stitches, and you can tell they're not stitches yet because the shape file appears. If you look at this design, you can tell it's grouped together because it has a little dotted line around it, and it also tells you it's a stitch file. If I try to select it, you will notice that I ended up with a, it being grouped. If I go to home, I can see it's group because it has a group tab grayed out, and then I also see the stitch file, and that again tells me that it stitches. You'll also notice with stitch files that you see the dotted line around it. Now if you want to, for instance, change this so that you have the ability to get rid of all of the green and the blue flowers and just retain those two pink flowers in the inside, there's a fast way to do that. So to do that, first of all, let me go and let's zoom in by using selected object zoom. This way you can see everything on the screen. And the first thing I want to do, while it is selected, I want to go to divide by color. Divide by color allows you to select specific colors in this design and to delete them. So let's look at how the design is made up. And what I see is that I will need to delete portions of this, but not all of it. And I'll explain what I mean in a moment. I can delete the blue and the green right off by selecting it and I click select and press the delete key. Now the green and blue stitches are gone. And if this is as far as I want to go, I can leave it at this, although you see this little center circle here, I probably wouldn't want to leave it like that. Now if I select just the yellow and go to the stitch player, I can see how the yellow is stitching out in this design, and I can see that it includes the stamen around this design. So I would not want to delete all the yellow. I'll click stop and it brings me back to the design. So I need to look at some other options. And the other options that you can select are by selecting the color. And for this I want to select both the, the blue and the pink down here. So I'll hold my control key while I select those and choose the select patterns. And now whatever I do is going to affect those stitches. The thing that I can do is I can try to choose split stitch data and you notice it's grayed out. So it means that I'm, I can't do this in one step. So what I'll do first is I'll deal with the yellow and now that the yellow is selected, I can use the split stitches. To use the split stitches, what you do is you draw around those stitches by clicking around the pattern. If you notice, though, I can't go up here and click because if I did 
and I'll do that inadvertently, I have made a mistake. So I'll right click to remove that and I'll get as high as I can around this. And basically what you're doing is lassoing it. And so I'll select that and press the delete key. So I've now removed the, all of those yellow uh, centers of that design. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, but for the speed of this video, I won't do that. I think you'll understand how to do it. So now let's go back and let's select the yellow, excuse me, the pink. So we'll select the pink, and I know that this pink includes these center flowers. So I'll go back and split stitches, and again, I'll draw around that, that design as closely as I can get without including the hibiscus flower and double click and delete those. Well, I can do the same thing on the other side as well. I don't think you need to see that. We'll select those points again and this time what we're going to do is choose node select. Now what I want to do now and let me zoom in is and choose the zoom key by selecting this. I want to delete these nodes that are right here close to that flower. And so to do that, what I need to do is click the selection again for the nodes, select the nodes I want to delete, and I'm deleting stitches at a time. It's probably not the fastest way to do it. You could could go back and you could select trying to lasso these, but it's one way to clean up a design and to get rid of the stitches that are unwanted. Now you will notice that there's some travel stitches in the yellow that are going up underneath this design that you would want to select that are a different color. Let me go ahead and you see the yellow is selected now and select it and while it's selected I'll go back to node select and I'll clean up these points by deleting them and you're doing this one stitch at a time and if you want you can go ahead while it's selected and you can remove these travel stitches that are running underneath that design because they're really not necessary for what we're doing. So we can go ahead and remove some of them. Now, if, if you can't see all of your screen, you can go over to View, and you can choose the Reference Pane, and you can just move the Reference Pane up so you can get to the portion of the design that you want to see while you're zoomed in. And you can continue to delete those stitches. And if you hear squeaking, I've got a dog, and she's six years old and still playful and has her toy, so I apologize. I've started this video three times. You're just going to have to bear with me and listen to the squeaking in the background. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go back, and I'll choose select the pink, and I'll choose split stitches, but I didn't, when I selected it, I did not click select here or here. You have to do that. Now we'll go back to node select and we'll delete these little bits of the pink that are on the outside of this flower. And you can see I'm doing this a stitches at a time. I'm holding down my delete key. Now I didn't mean to delete that last point so I'll undo. Because I'm just trying to get these stitches that are right outside. I don't want to delete any of the satin stitches. So let me select it again. And then I'll, I'll pay attention to the stitches that are on the outside and select them. And when they're black, that's when they're selected. I just deleted something I didn't want. I'll right click and put it back. Now every time I do that I have to go back and select again. So I'll select that 
And now, uh, once it's selected, I can go back to my node select and delete those points. And sometimes when you have it really zoomed in like this, you could try to use the split stitches to delete it. But I think I've cleaned up everything that's on the outside. And we are in a realistic view. We can go to stitch view and you can see more of the stitches on this design. Let's go back to realistic. And what we'll do is we'll go back to home and we'll choose one to one and we'll click off and now you see I've cleaned up all the stitches on this side of this design you would do the same thing on the other side and you would probably want to get some of those running stitches that are running underneath the satin stitch until they get to this point because you want it to have a place to lock in as it's sewing in the design I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe to them and thank you for your time.